Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter. Delete button. We are finally going to use those buttons. Each one will trigger an event handler that processes the array event list to create a visual effect with the mouse data you have stored. The first effect we're going to create is delete. You may want to provide your user with a way to start over their drawing. In order to do this, you'll need to both clear the canvas and delete all items from event list. The easiest way to delete everything from this list is to simply set the value of event list to be a new empty list. We have a do this. In design mode, set the styling and text of one button to indicate it's the delete or start over button. Give your button a descriptive ID. Add a click event handler to your button. With the event handler, call clear canvas. Set event list to the empty array, i.e. event list is empty. Test your program to make sure that starting over works the way it should. Hmm. Well, how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to go into design mode and to make one of these buttons into delete. So let's go to design. Let's do just like theirs, and we are going to create this one into a delete. Let's use our correct way of naming delete button. The text, let's just say start over. I like that. Let's make it red too. I like that color red. Slide our color over here. We could just use FFFF on our hex. And our button, looks like we got one too many Fs here. F0000. Red, center text, Everything else looks pretty good to me. ID is now delete button saying start over. Let's go to our code here. What we have to do is we have to add a event handler here that will delete when we click it. I'm gonna go down here. Let's drag out a event handler. What do we want the button to be? Well, we want it to be the delete button. So we're going to take our ID, delete button. That means when this button is clicked, something's going to happen. What's going to happen here? Well, we are going to clear our canvas and we want our clear canvas to be a empty and then we want to empty our event list. How do we do that? Well, with inside there, we are going to do our clear canvas command. And that's just going to clear our canvas or our background there. Now we have to worry about the event list because we want to clear everything out of the event list as well. So we're just going to set our event list to an empty bucket. Event list is just our variable right there. That means when the delete button is clicked, the canvas will clear as well as all the information stored in our array, essentially starting over. That's how I think it should work. Let's go ahead and test this out and see if that's actually what happens. Nothing's happening here, hold shift key down. It is drawing. If I hit start over here, it should clear everything out. Now, every time I draw something, I don't have to hit reset when I make a mistake. I can just hit the start over. Pretty fun and very useful for our user. It makes our app much more usable. I think our code is working the way it should over here. Looking back to our do this, we went into design mode and made one of our buttons start over. 
we added an event handler and that event handler was to our delete button within that event handler we use the clear canvas command which just cleared the canvas that is also in our canvas command we have our clear canvas down there then we took our array and set it back to empty so we erased the data that was in there we tested this a couple of times and with our smiley face it worked I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.